one thing that seems a certainty anymore is that our lives are complicated and there are many facets to them and we need a calendar that can adjust for that. Fantastical has a feature called calendar sets to solve just that problem. If you click at the center bottom of the left sidebar, you'll see a list of my calendar sets. And by clicking on a calendar set, I can jump between different sets of calendars. I've been using this Fantastical calendar set as I've been working on these videos. But let's say I want to manage more. I'll click on this button right here. This is the calendars button in the settings and you can see my various calendar sets. Like Sparky Operations is one where I kind of keep a combination of legal and tech and family stuff all in one place. But I also have limited calendars. Like this is my family calendar and it's just got calendars related to my family and personal life. I've got one here for the legal practice. I'm gonna make one now for Max Sparky. I'll hit the little plus button and we'll just call it Max Sparky. And in this one, I'm just gonna have the Max Sparky related calendars. If I hold down the option key and press one of the buttons, you'll see it unselects everything. Then I can just go through them top to bottom. A bunch of these are personal and legal calendars I don't need, but I do need the one for Max Sparky. I need the one for blog production field guides, Mac power users, automators, and focused, my podcasts. I actually have two for focused. It's a long story. And uh, I don't need moon phases or the New York Times astronomy, but I do want the public holidays. And I can take anniversaries and birthdays off. So that's a particular set of calendars that I want to look at when I'm just thinking about doing Mac Sparky related work. So now when I go over here, I can just click on this, go down to Mac Sparky, and there is my Max Sparky calendar. When I'm done with that, I can go back to the Fantastical calendar set. This gives you a great way to context shift when you're looking at your calendars. Another good one I use is the field guide production stuff. So these are just dates and times I've assigned to various field guide production projects. And it's just a great way to get to that. And Fantastical makes that possible. There's another few power features you can use with calendar sets. I'm gonna go back now to the Manage Calendars pane. And the first is you can set a default calendar and task list for each calendar set. And then the next part is you can automatically activate at a particular location. For instance, I have my work location here. It can automatically activate this calendar set when I arrive or leave that location. So just think about that, you could have your work calendar turn on when you get to the office and your personal calendar set turn on when you get home. Best of all, this is also fully supported over on the iPhone and iPad. Let me show you. Here I am over on the iPad and you can see with the month view, I've got that Fantastical calendar set displayed. To change that on the iPad and the iPhone, you don't go to the right corner, but the left corner. You can see where it says Fantastical right here. I'm gonna tap on that and there are all my calendar sets. If I go back to the Max Sparky set, you'll see that. Or I can go back to the Fantastical set. Also, I can manage calendars here. I just tap manage calendars. And then you see there's a button for calendar sets. I'm going to tap on that. And then I can see all my various calendar sets. If I tap on the information button, the little eye in the circle on the right, then I get a list of all of the detailed calendars that are subscribed to that specific calendar set and I can change them here. So you have parity between the iPad, the iPhone and the Mac. Now calendar sets are an easy feature to skip over. You may think you don't need it, but if you spend some time setting them up, it allows you to contextualize your calendar in multiple ways. I use multiple calendar sets every day to keep my eye on the ball. I highly recommend you do the same. Now that you've seen this video, take a few minutes and set up your calendar sets with Fantastical.